Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We're doing another vintage modern cube draft. Just take out vintage. I don't want it to be a vintage modern cube draft. We're just doing a modern cube draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. What do you, uh, I like Time Warp. This pack doesn't seem very impressive. I like Oracle and I like Time Warp, but I had significant better luck with green with uh, blue decks than I have green decks. Zimini Pot, thank you so much for the reset. A whole year, it's been a wild ride. Thanks for being awesome. And are you and Soul Mike going to do a Sarah for all drain? Uh, well, we might do one, and if we do, it'll be last Friday, and it'll be going up on YouTube on Tuesday and Wednesday, or Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be up Wednesday and Thursday. So before the pre-release. But yes, we already did one. It was last Friday. <laughs> so. Thank you. Yes. Our sub baby was born in September. Tell me this isn't the Matrix. I can't. I can't do that. I'm going to take Time Warp, and I'm going to be warping all over some dudes. Now we're going to take Vendillion Click, because that is a solid, spicy. I'm hoping to get some Planeswalkers here, and then we can just go, like, Planeswalker, Planeswalker, Time Warp. Time Warp. Time Warp, Planeswalker. And then you just, you know, you, just, you, know you, 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 you tick them up, and then you tick them out. It's all this Conscripts. We can stay on color. We can take Battle Sphere or Nimble Obstructionist. I don't think they're that good. Chromatic Lantern is good. Kalidus is nice if we want to go into a different color, but I'm thinking just Zealous Conscripts, right? I want to sleep, but there. Yeah, it's true. You could sleep later, but I won't. I might not be streaming later, so I'm gonna take Zealous Conscripts. I think the upside is way too high for a Zealous Conscripts. Ooh, Mana Leak and Condescend. Now I'm very convinced to take, um, to just be Jeskai. But we have no reason to do it. So I think we just take Mana League here. Because it's very good. Now I'm just going to take Factor Fiction. Is that better than Seagate Oracle? Probably. Yeah, it's probably better. Now we're just taking Cryptic Command. Okay, so we're just getting all the blue cards. All right. All right. Exclusion Mage, Essence Scatter, and then there is the uh, the Scalding Tarn, which is nice. Hmm. Essence Scatter is good. Exclusion Mage is just Mana War that doesn't have to bounce itself if there's no creatures on board, which I think is actually better. Scalding Tarn is fantastic, but I don't even know if we're playing Zealous Conscripts yet. We could get a Jace still. There's still Jace in this cube, right? I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take Essence Scatter. I feel fine with it. And now I'm gonna take Temporal Mastery. Even though there's a Fallen Shinobi, which is like literally one of my favorite cards in this cube. Yes, I am well aware of Kiki being in the cube. Come on. Come on, Unseen Spectre. Get it together. Uh take Sword of Temptation. This is a pretty solid mono blue deck, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest, guys. It's looking alright. It's looking okay. Search for Ezconta came back? Pfft, please. Like you even need to... You don't need to... Don't need to pull pull my leg. Is that how... Is this, you don't need to twist my arm. Is that how it goes? What would I say if I was being dishonest? I'd be like, this is a pretty solid green deck, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But he was gonna lie. I caught myself singing Sweet Michael B with the trumpet sting above about 20 minutes ago and had an I watch the stream too much moment. Dude, Michael Michael asked me the other day, he was like, do you just sing this shit when I'm not even here? And I'm like, yeah, kind of. And he just lost it. Because it's just so in my head. Like, I'll just be like, Sweet Michael B. Ba, ba, da. and I'm just and it's just like I'm like oh god why am I singing this but then I'm like it doesn't really matter it's just funny oh my god condescend came back y'all are disrespectful I guess we'll take anger in case we're some kind of red deck <laughs> our, our deck is 11 fantastic blue cards and then some really good re four really good red cards well, that's something, all right. 100% disallow. And then we're just going to be the uh, the absolute most degenerate mono blue deck 
that's ever existed. Narset? Oh, Pestermite? We don't have Kikijiki, though. And the problem with the whole combo in this cube is that there's no Splinter Twin because it's banned. So you only have Kikijiki, but then you have Pestermite and Restoration Angel and Zealous Conscripts. And I don't think there's even Deceiver Exarch in this cube. I have not seen it. Either way, I'm taking Narset. If you're ever Vendillion Click someone, if you're ever Vendillion Click your opponent on their turn with a Narset out, they ain't having a good time. Bernard, are you in this cube? Oh, how do you know that? Okay, so I'm here. Oh my god, Bernard, you're literally passing to me, dude? That's insane. Wow, you're the hero we need, my, my dude. That is amazing. I actually really like Kira in these decks. Because, like, it just lets your Vendillion Clicks be so good. And your Sword Temptation is just literally so hard to kill. Like, as long as you're not running Sword... Like, Dungeon Geist is just so much better with the, with Akira. And Karanos is really tempting. But I just don't feel like we need to be a different color here. <sighs> this is a... Th are we a Thassa deck? We got Narset, Vendillion Click, Sower, Dungeon Geist... I mean, I do like Blink of an Eye. Blink of an Eye is great. Hell you. <laughs> uh, hell yeah, I mean. My, my bad. My bad. Uh, I'll just take Thassa. I think Thassa's fine. The problem... Here's the, here's one here's one non-bow. Thassa with Kira means you have to target your eyes twice to make them unblockable. Serum Visions? Yeah, I'll take Serum Visions. Alright, deck's basically done. Master of Waves and a Tamio? I love Tamio. Love Tamio. I think Tamio is underrated. Tamio goes to like five, and then she locks a dude down. Like unlike a Johnny Vengeance, if Johnny Vengeance just just keeps the guy tapped, that's a or Tamio actually taps it. Plus, we do have two time locks. We just want to open a Jace the Mind Sculpt for the third pack. Yeah, I'll take a I'll take a Threads from a from a sideboard. Sweet Michael B's. Bum, bum. I mean, Karanos might even table because I don't think anyone else is in blue, let alone blue red. Pester Mite comes back. Anyway, it's tempting to just take Simic Signet. I really don't care about Pester Mite, but I'd rather just have a Signet that's on color. Icefall Regent? Sure. I don't see us playing Icefall Regent, but... Is it Charm? Sure. Our sideboard is literally exclusively blue and red. That's nice. Wow, the Karanos is coming back? Jesus. Oh, man. You've got the best magic stream in the world. It's full of authenticity, good and bad, and catchy songs you sing. It's what people... It's what people like. Well, I mean... I wish we had more of a... I wish our viewer base was, was bigger, but... I appreciate you saying so. This is not the Jace we're looking for, but still a decent Jace nonetheless. I might just take that. I mean, it's either that or, like, Urza. If we're sticking to the mono blue plan, which Jesus, why wouldn't we? I can't believe Blink of an Eye came back and and Karanos came back. Like both of the cards we wanted. Like sometimes you just tell you can just tell you're in the exact colors you need to be in. Electrolyze is so good, but again, we have no way to fix red, so I have no interest in being red right now. Devery seems perfect. Pull from tomorrow. Okay, so it's just the uh, it's the literal mono blue Sphinx's revelation. Adam, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Like, I, I love the fact that I'm I, I feel like I'm kind of middle of the road and like I'm actually completely okay with it because once you get like super, super big, like it's really weird because then you get it's harder to engage with people the way I enjoy engaging with people. I'm going to be honest, I think Teferi's coming back. I'm going to take the pull for tomorrow because I just like having it. I 
think. I, I mean, both. I think both are coming back. I don't think either one's going to be snapped up. I'm going to take the, the Teferi. Oh. Ooh. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! I am getting the vapors, dude. I am getting Felipe. What's going on, my dude? Freddie Bones is uh is my roommate, Felipe. Um. Oh my God, dude. Whoo! It's getting it's getting a little getting a little toasty in here. I think sleight of hand is just fine. This pack's pretty unexciting. I mean, like I would definitely take either one of these if we were those colors, but I don't think we really need it. Man, a mole drifter too. Y'all people have no respect. No consideration for Delver? Not really. I also think it's going to come back. I'm never a fan of Delver. Because, like, you end up just not having that many instants and sorceries. Like, this deck might be the exception. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have to make two cuts. So it's probably close to 10. I don't think that's... I just don't think a third of your deck is enough. Which is why I don't even think Delver's great in cube. We're going to take Muldrifter. Because we're not maniacs. Spell Pierce. I mean, I could just literally take all the all the blue, the only blue card in each of these packs, and be totally fine with it. Yeah, definitely playing dissolve. How did the red deck do? Two one, surprisingly. Sulfur Falls is good if we ever want to splash these, but like, I don't want to deal with one land and then just add a bunch of. Like, we have Cryptic Command and like Teferi and like a look double blue, double blue, double blue, double blah, 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 blah. and then another double blue. Like that's. I guess we could take Steam Vents, too. How good is Baral here? Two mana, two mana, three mana, three mana, four mana, four mana. It's not It's not terrible, actually. Urza came back. I'll just take Urza. All right, 28 cards. Only need to make five cuts. Pull from Tomorrow came back, because of course it did. I might just want to cut Simic Signet. Celestial Colonnade? Sure. Can probably cut Nimble Obstructionist, even though we had a pretty sweet Nimble Obstructionist moment where we actually uh, got to stifle their Arid Mesa activation, which was... Pff, God. I felt so bad. Wow, other than this Hostage Taker and the Celestial Colonnade, our entire sideboard is blue-red. Burn Raider, congrats on your double titan, buddy. Double titans. How many... Let's let's sort by... Uh, let's group these separately so we can see what we're working with here. Because, like, despite liking Thassa a lot, I just don't foresee us having a ton of permanents on board. Like, we have to have any two of these, like, nine... One, three, four, five, six, nine creatures... I mean, but if we have to cut something, like, we already have Time Warp. I just don't want this in my opening hand. And we only have, like, one or two Planeswalkers that really benefit it. It's not great. Oh, Planeswalkers, yeah. So we have, like, Jace and Narset and Tamio, I guess. I would actually put these up here. And search. How many counter spells is this? One, two, three, four, five... Six counter spells. It's twenty-six. I, I I'm fine with cutting one of these. I think I like slight better than serum visions. I got to bounce four Urza lands with an equipment equipped an exalted cephalid constable in modern league today. Wow. This is why you're one of my modern heroes. 
I want to cut these two, and we'll cut like one. We can cut one thing from here. Probably it probably is Thassa. We're all thinking it just cut the Sphinx. Yikes. Yikes. Seventeen lands done. All right, let's see how this goes. This deck looks real spicy. And we got a Moldrifter over on the three drop slot if we really need it. God, come on, Burner Raider, get it together. Right, we're just gonna mulligan this nonsense. This is a keeper. We'll ship this guy. I mean, unfortunately, Burner Raider and I were chatting, so I do know he has a double titans and tooth and nail, which means this could be good, but. We do need lands. Alright, we found some lands. I was looking for a land, and then I found a land. And heaven knows I'm miserable now. That's a little song called Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by Morrissey. Or the Smiths. I'm not sure. I think it's a Smith song. What's the difference? Well, you see, one is with Morrissey. And one is with Morrissey and his band, the Smiths. Oof. I mean, we're taking Cryptic here. <clears throat> it's the Smiths. Do I care about this? I don't think so. I'd like to. I don't think I do. Which one's going to play? So you have a mountain in hand. Sounds good. I mean, it makes mana leak a lot worse if they're talk if they're gonna cast like something s small, right? Like, like if they cultivate only to cast a two drop, then yeah, it makes mana leak worse. But I think mana leak's still pretty strong here. Like they have six mana, so unless he casts the redrop and then plays around mana leak, then it's like okay. I mean, I'm tempted to cryptic bounce. whatever <laughs> yes excellent one two three four they have seven mana now what was their land they played burner mountain so i can assume this is gone hitting all these land drops is just phenomenal denmark what's going on buddy Boy, it's close. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't want them to, like... I really don't want him to, to see the nail us, so I'm just going to pass. We're under no pressure. We're playing the blue deck. Just be patient. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So you have two mana left. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. Oof. So close. Look at that value. Alright, one more land and we can play Kira into Disallow, which seems good. I'm off to a doctor's appointment to figure out why it hurts to walk this week. Stupid thigh muscles. Good luck in your matches. Good luck in your appointment, buddy. Zemini Pot, I hope you're feeling better, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, oh, geez. Let's, 
Um, yep, that seems bad. As a mono blue deck, I want to veto that. One, two, three, four, and just hope we don't play like Inferno Titan after that. <laughs> and you did. You did the exact thing. I was like, don't do that. And that's what you did. This is actually pretty decent here. Uh, okay. <sighs> we really could have used the sixth land here. Seventh land even better, but sixth land for sure. Okay, that's good. That's a stealer. Okay, we hit it. Two cards in hand. Oh god. Okay, that's not actually terrible. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it go. Okay. Oh, it has haste. <laughs> uh. Oops. I mean, we can just get to a point where, like, we can we can we can shoot this dude down. Sammy, what's going on, dude? So now we get to keep up. Oh, our hand is four counter spells. Come on, this deck is stupid. Whatever it is, I will kill it. Enough is enough. So now they have one card in hand, so no matter what they had, unless it's like Anger of the Gods, like they wouldn't be able to... The funny thing is, our deck is pretty susceptible to like Anger of the Gods or like Sweltering Suns, because it kills Dungeon, Sower, Kira, without, without actually caring. I think we just keep up two counter spells and never lose the game. Sammy, I did get your email. Thank you so much for the for the info, buddy. I still have no idea what's going on with the YouTube algorithm, but it is what it is. If you guys are new to the stream, definitely consider following or subscribing. Both of those things help me out a ton. And through the month of September. Subscriptions are only two fifty, which is just a ridiculous deal if you want to support a streamer. Okay, uh, no blocks. He's like, "Well, you're gonna kill it next turn anyway," so that is correct. That is correct. Oh. This is 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're actually so close to killing you. With just wolves. And pass. Okay. Okay, man. Thrun in the main deck. That's a dude. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to aid and probably just killing you here. Because if we alpha next turn, like, you can only block one guy. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. So we counter whatever this is. It's a bonfire? No. Maybe. No. Okay. Probably not. Oh, it might be Banefire and they have six mana instead of seven. That's pretty funny. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sure. B -b 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 Banefire. Ooh. -wee. Ooh. -wee. Um. Threads didn't seem great. I don't know. I think our deck is great. I'm going to submit. Okay, I'm game. Burn Raider Mullen to five? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah, if they had Banefire, then then why would you play Thrun? You would just kill me, right? Good point, Bjorn. Uh, we actually have no reason to tap out here. Baral is great, but like we can play Baral and still keep up Essence Scatter next turn. Or we can just wait till turn 4 to keep up. We can go turn 2, Essence Scatter, turn 3, Dissolve, turn 4, sure. Turn 4, Baral, Essence Scatter, Dissolve, so... One of the biggest problems people have when they play Control decks is just playing... Uh, like, just not being patient enough. Oh, um, I think you just F6'd your turn. Well, that's awkward for everybody. Come on, Burner Raider. I don't know if you did that, though. <laughs> so I can't, like... You could have just not had any lands or anything to play. Okay. What's it gonna be? Wow, that dude's gotta go. Boop. Scatter his essence. I actually for sure discard a land here. We got five lands already, and that's more than enough. We can cast Dissolve and Cryptic Command here. I think we're just gonna cast an R set though. Slight disallow. Yeah, we're definitely just, just load up on the counter spells. Yeah, this game is uh, not particularly. Um, I have a feeling he's going to play Thrun here, which is actually pretty problematic for us. Keep on top. Sure. Um, no, I'm not going to loot here, because I just want to draw the card, and it's fine if we...
It's gonna be a whiff. I'm feeling it. Feeling a whiff. Oh, it was not a whiff. Two, three. Land? Okay. Man, Thassa should be online right now. Uh, you could we could not plus two on our turn because it'd be the first card they draw that turn. They would still draw a card. It says each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. On our turn, they're not. That would be the first card they've drawn. Otherwise, that's like that's like a modern level combo. People would be playing Jace Bellerin in modern all of a sudden. Come on, land. Come on. <laughs> it's kind of like a land. <laughs> Big yikes. Huge. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's literally just Primeval Titan here. And we'll get land and land. They have one card in hand. So we're just going to have to hope this Condescend gets there. Of course it's prime time. Of course. Remember that time we wanted lands and we were like, oh, I guess I'll just get some. <laughs> oh, they got a tooth and nail? That's pretty good. Maybe. Oh, they can go shoot, shoot. Oh, shoot. Condescend ain't going to do it this time, boys. Actually, they probably don't care about Narset. Just, like, shoot Jason. No, they do. I mean, that's fine. It's all fine. Could just blink it. One, two, three, four. Dungeon Geist. Tap this dude down. And then we'll just attack... the OK button. Yeah, Primeval Titan's a... is definitely not a real magic card. <laughs> it's unbelievably good. We have exactly town on the board. That's also nice. <laughs> oh man, good games. Oh, we have a good time. We have a good time. Burnerator has been has been a, a a supporter for a while, so it's always a blast when I can get when I go to get to play you guys because it feels like it's so rare.
Still had more fun than double Teferi locks, thank goodness. I'll keep this hand. I don't know if it's great. Every opponent we play is going to have Utopia Sprawl, I guess. Okay. I guess we... Alright, alright. I got you. Wow, we're not going to have a play till turn three? Ooh, that's brutal. Den Protector, huh? I also accidentally passed my turn, and that will be on the VOD forever. <laughs> I was like, well, that seemed like an accident, but it was hard to tell. Like, you never know if someone just, like, knows they don't have a land or a play, so they draw a card, and they're like, oh, I didn't have anything, so. This is all very interesting. Oh, it was a Rattleclaw, not a Den Protector. Oh, we just get to keep Narset alive, which doesn't do much, but it does deny us a card. I kind of like Essence Scatter here, but like, ooh, this Narset is... Yeah, we got Essence Scatter here, unfortunately. I don't think we're playing a Jace. I think we're just going to pass. God, I got sneeze. <laughs> oh man, looking at that light is like... I'm immediately... What paper do you have? I'm considering getting. What paper decks do you have? Uh, I mean, like, I have most paper decks. I mean, in modern and, and standard, I have pretty complete play sets of both. So, but I don't. I don't play a ton of. I don't play a ton of paper magic. Is the thing. Uh, I have actually. I've I've planned to get a, a sizable magic tattoo for a while. Um, oh wow. I could actually just Teferi here, but I think we're just going to Bribery. And get something beautiful. It's just a Primeval Titan. It's got to be just Primeval Titan, right? It's just always Primeval Titan. I mean, we're hoping they don't draw Crater Hoof. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then Crater Hoof. Wow, they're just making... Okay. I mean, as long as we can fade this turn. Okay, that's a Den Protector, for sure. So... We're just going to Jace, draw a card. We can, then we can keep up Teferi and Essence Scatter. I do like a search. I would love to just slam in there. Can we do it though? Then they just triple block here, which I guess is fine. Like they have one card, and I kind of want to get this Nissa off the board. Yep, this is exactly what I figured they'd do. Oh, oh, that's even better. Yeah, I'll just eat these two then, for sure. And now they're probably going to get back Primeval Titan. And then we're just going to Essence Scatter that dude. Yep. So 
So face, Jace, Jace. Yeah, I'll just take three here. Unfortunately, I can't. Sure. Yeah, that's a nope from me, dog. Wow. Um, so this is eleven mana. So f six and five. Oh yeah, that's that's insane. Well, as long as they don't draw a crater hook here. Battle Sphere is really good. Yep, yeah, that's dangerous. <sighs> yep, yeah, that is pretty rough. Okay. Well, shit. Huh. All right. Well, No, do not put that in my graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I do not feel comfortable attacking here. Six, seven, eight, nine. They also have nine mana, so. Okay, that's what we needed. Um, your attack, if you do, you're also extend deals to, 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 to the planeswalker, it's attacking. So it's still attacking me, I think. Okay. Here comes Crater Hoof because sometimes. Fuck. Wow. What an actual fucking joke, dude. Sure. <sighs> that probably just kills us, right? Say so four, five, six, seven. And we have two. So the five guys are getting through, and they all. Yep, that was amazing. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Your deck is good. Crutch Jr., we actually did your mono red stipulation before this. What am I drinking? Uh, water. How did it go? I actually don't want to say. I kind of want you to watch it. Not to, like, get the view or anything, because I want it to be a surprise, you know? Uh, 
I will pray. I will pray first. I'll play first. Let's keep this. Wow, Ulamog was like the last thing. Like, I think we actually stabilize if they don't hit Ulamog, because we can start flipping our Ascanta. We can start drawing extra cards. I mean, Nimble Obstruction is solely for their 10 mana Ulamog seems pretty bad. Like, that's kind of loose. Like, we're going to keep Condescend up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, one more land for bribery. Big briberies. Let's go draw. Without any counter spells, I just want to play Vendillion Click here. <laughs> this is funny because we actually put the Primeval Titan back in the deck. I don't know if it remembers this. Mirror Forest. Wit, Cord, Beast. I think it does. Alright, cool. So, Primeval Titan's gone. Forest is gone. Beast Whisper is gone, right? Cord of Calling for one. Wow. That's crazy. Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> Crutch Jr. with the gifted Subarinos, my dude. I think we just get Ulamog here, right? <laughs> that seems good. Seems stronger than, uh, than Primeval Titan here, but... I don't, but you don't get the triggers. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they're like, um, not gonna do it. And they have Court of Calling. They have a bunch of things. I mean, whenever I have like Mountain Dew or something, it's. It's it's pretty it's pretty invisible. I kind of like threads here. I can see nimble over Narset. Like yeah, that's fine. Does Mono Green have any way to deal with an indestructible creature in all of magic? I think there is one in green, turns the permanent into a f uh Song of the Dryad. Yeah, you can yeah, you can put it on the dude. There might be more than that, but like it would have to be something similar to that. Uh, it seems crazy for its miracle cost, but considering, like, you only draw, like, half of your deck in any given game. Like, you'll draw 20 cards out of out of 40, right? So, 
so it's only miracle cost 50 percent of the time and that's if it's not in your opening seven cards so you get about 13 cards out of 20 cards that it's that you could possibly miracle it for you know like it's not it's not super convenient The old 45 special. <laughs> oh, God. Um, this, they begin again at 7. Do I just keep this hand? Whatever. All right, well, our, our land is good. If anything, like if we if we lose this game, it's totally like just because we didn't have anything to do before turn three, and they're like ramping pretty aggressively. So if they flip these guys, three, four, sure. It's just end protector. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. They could have six mana this turn. Pelucranos is a thing. Oh, either of these we can play, which is pretty decent. So next turn we can Dungeon Geists or ta we can now we can't Tamio. We can give a Cryptic Command. Beast Whisperer, sure. Draga Tree Speaker, draw a card. Yikes. No blocks. Yeah, I think we've lost this game. So now they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, access, access to eight mana in the future turns. Court of Calling. Virtuous Gear Hulk. Yeah, this hand was terrible. We should have mulliganed this hand. I blame it on ourselves. Two, three, or just one. Cryptic tap your team. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next round. That's unfortunate. I think our deck was pretty insane.
I will keep. Yeah, this is another situation where we're just not playing as Kanta on turn two because why would we ever do that? Let's see what you got here with your Marsh Flat, Sacred Foundry, Forest Hand. Bailoff, Hornet Queen, Grave Titan, Frost Titan, holy Jesus. Good gravy. Wow. Hachi machi. I feel like we can counter all these other things. I think Vizier is the scariest one because they can take a counter spell and then we have to deal with it twice. Yeah, we take Vizier, because I don't want them to, like, copy our click, take a counter spell, and then we kill it, and they, like, deal, they, they, like, deal with it again. Like, it's just two cards, so. And they can easily get a, a, a land that has a basic land. Blooming Marsh, Rakdos Signet. Okay, so you played two cards that we didn't know about. So we know your hand is one, two, three, four. These are the six cards you have. Split them up. Oh, bribery? <laughs> bribery by itself. Oh, Lord. Is it that scary? I mean, you get your wish. I'm not going to bribery you, but... So we have their whole hand. They're going to have one, two, three, four. They're going to have six mana, so they can't cast anything through a leak. They play the island. So island is gone. Yeah, even that guy's going to get leaked. My man. Um, No, I'll keep a Tameo. Alright, guys. Now we just have the uh, never-ending stream of big beaters. We got an answer for two of them out of three of them. Yep, that one's not. Did they play? Oh, yeah, that'll stay on top. No. Um. They played a root bound crag. Okay, so we still know the we still have three out of the four cards in their hand. This is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He'll have eight mana if they play this. We have to have at least three for condescend. So four mana. So we could go Jace, condescend for three. I'm almost tempted to let this guy resolve. And then dungeon geist at one, two, three, four, five, six to geist. Cause I'm actually afraid we don't have an answer for Hornet Queen, and Hornet Queen's a little bit scary. 
Yeah, this is actually fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could tap a green. Four, five, six, seven. No, this is good. On me, have a good night, buddy. I'll just draw. That's that's what we wanted. So we need six. So we can go dungeon guys. Three, four. And we get to keep up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Frosty's gone. Swamp is gone one way or the other. Okay. Whew. Holy. Holy moly. Hey, this is crazy. Your creatures are huge. So kind of maybe. All right. Well. Well, well, well. I think we're just fine. Cube is the one true format. If they had a store cube on Arena after Throne release, would you play it? I mean, maybe. Depends on the list. Like, I feel like I would just be playing Standard. Like, the best part about cube is playing through cards that, that are, like, from all of Magic's history. So it's not, like, as exciting if I'm just playing with cards that, like, are from Standard from, like, a week ago. Plus, like, one Warm Coil Engine or one Dark Confidant, and you're like, oh, well. God, then we always get these hands where, like, they don't do anything. Okay, this is good. I'm going to ship the Kira. Then we're hoping for Mana Leak or Essence. Fact or Fiction, get out of here. But they're more from like two weeks. What does that mean? Oof. Probably going to bounce that. That seems vital. Thank you. Enemies, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. One whole year. Make sure to tell Mooch you'll have a birthday for me. I will. I will. Bottoming a cryptic command is like the worst feeling in the, in the absolute entire world. 
Yep. It's right up there with evoking a mole drifter to hit lands. But we did it. And so now I have a window. Any land into lo into Oh jeez. Well, here comes like Hornet Queen, Frost Titan, Grave Titan, then we're just dead. We always win the first game handling, and then we stumble on two drops in the second and third games. I guess that's not true. We crushed in the first round. Here comes Primeval Titan. Virtuous Gearhulk. Good lord. Well, they have lethal on board. What can we do? Literal nothing. I guess we can block. Keep up disallow. That means we're not dead. Yep, once we block though, then we're dead. It's turn seven, like if we, or it's turn six, if we hit the two, the two land drops that were missing, we would've been able to play Factor Fiction this turn. Or we would've been able to play Time Warp on our turn. But, you know, sometimes magic's real hard. Uh, well, about that. I'm gonna go, let's go to game three. like threads on Lotus Cobra, but I don't think we saw that that many other creatures that we want a Lotus Cobra. Oh man, the bribery makes this I think I think this is keepable. Like if we can hit two to three lands, like we're so good. I can't mulligan this and hope to get a better hand, I think. went to six we're like I'll keep this six I don't think that's true at all all my mono blue decks have went like 3-0 all my mono blue decks have been insane so far they have been ridiculous oh yeah we're doing it two three drops live in the dream bribery seems insane in this matchup Josh, what's going on, buddy? Okay. They haven't played anything before we get to Dissolve? Yes. And we get to Scry? Yes. That's fine. I'll, al I'll allow it. Renin Six, Vizier, Golos, or Fallen Shinobi. Boy! We're taking the Fallen Shinobi. Renin Six kills Vendillion Click. Vizier of Many Faces is also just nonsense. I think we take Vizier and trade here. I think Vizier is just terrifying. We, we're, our plan is to bribery them, so like I don't want them to Vizier the thing we bribery. Like that just seems terrible. We can also steal the Shinobi. So I don't think we attack here, right? Like, they just play Ren and Six, we counter it with, like, Cryptic. We 
We can also let them attack and then bounce the shinobi draw a card. Okay. Wow. Choose pile one for sure. Yes, please. Give me them lands. Progenitor Mimic. Grave Titan, Frost Titan, Archangel Avacyn. Grave Titan, right? Well, now they have a chance to play Renin 6, which is fine. We lose click, but we keep Grave Titan. Good stuff. Forest gone. The deck actually seems awesome. You have like two turns to draw that. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. So now we know these are at least in your hand and then two other cards. You seem awesome. Got them. David, what's going on, buddy? Uh, uh, just cryptic command. I just don't want my Mendelic Click is such a solid threat right now that I just don't want to have it. Yes, for sure, loot. So much value. Creeping carpet? Okay. Yeah, I think they're dead. There are three. We have a Dissolve and a Blink that we can cast both of. And we know three of the four cards in their hand. Siege Gang. Does that do anything I care about? Like... Sure. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was actually a pretty sweet draft. And uh, thank you guys for all the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, on patreon.com slash franklapore, on coolstuffinc.com. Every Wednesday I have new articles. And manatraders.com is also a great subscription service that you can get a, sub get a substantial 20% discount off the first three months with the links and the promo codes in the description below. So check that out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.